I am red E to review this kit. Yeah, that's right. The bad puns are back, baby. How's it going guys? It is Plastic Disaster and today we're going to take a look at a very special mobile suit or Gunpla model, the high grade build fighters Gundam Amazing Red Warrior. Gunpla model appeared in the anime Gundam Build Fighters Try, piloted by the man himself, Meijin Kawaguchi. Also, a little fun fact, this is actually based off of the uh, perfect Gundam 3 which looks very very similar. Taking a look at the box art, we see the Red Warrior firing its bazooka and we got some explosions going off everywhere. Looking at this side of the box, just shows a nice weapons and action poses and an advertisement of another Gundam model kit. And this side of the box, we have the front rear shot of the model kit and a nice CG render. And after cracking over the box, we have four packs of runners and a manual. So looking at the cover of the manual, we see a familiar box. So I'm moving on down. We have what the uh, Gunpla looks like in the anime. And right over here is the uh, Gunpla builder himself, Mejin Kawaguchi. I know the information is in Japanese, but you can always read on the wiki. Cracking open the manual, we see what is the material Gunpla that is loosely based off of, which is the RX-78 II. And moving on down, we see more action poses. Checking the parts list, and it looks like we're gonna have a few leftover beam saver effect parts. I love it. And looking at the back of the menu, we see what cool things you could do with these weapons. Front and back shot of the kit, the little marking sticker right over here. Moving on down, just shows off the uh, one point technique, and it even encourages you to put decals on the kit. And right down here, it's an advertisement of other kits. And over here is a color guide we're planning on painting it. There's a one and a two is going to be the red parts and they're both going to share this chunk of a runner. There's B1 and B2 are going to be the joint parts and they're going to share this chunk of a runner. Runners C, D, and E. C is going to be yellow, D is going to be dark red, and E is going to be the white parts. Runners F and G are going to be the weapon parts, yellow beam saber effect parts a small color correcting sticker sheet, and a small polar cap runner. That's gonna be it for the out of box uh, portion. Not a lot of runners, so I wanna see how much this kit can do with just very few runners. So I'm gonna put this kit together right now, and I'll see you guys right after. Here is what the kit really looks like when it's all put together and I really like how the out of box presentation really looks. I mean sure it is missing a few color apps but you can kind of get away with it and the color separation in the engineering really spot on for a high grade model kit. Moving on to seam lines, uh, most of it is pretty well hidden so I'll give it that but the ones that are really going to get you is the ones that are on the side of the head and the ones behind the leg. Moving on to sticker placement, starting off with the head, you get the eye stickers, of course it goes on the eye. This yellow sticker goes on to the back of the head. Now, these stickers right here are optional. This one right here goes on to this part of the chest, while these right here goes on to the knees. You got this gray sticker, let's go on to this crotch piece right here. And this big yellow sticker goes right here. That's gonna be a pretty out of box presentation. Once again, I am really impressed with it. After looking around the kit, it seems like I don't have a lot to work with. So speaking of working, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you guys right after. And here is what the kit looks like after you put some effort into it and it came out pretty good. And yeah, I think I did overdid it with the decals because I have both the Federation logo and a Titans logo too, in fact. But hey, if I like it, that's all that matters. So moving on with accessories, starting off with hand options. What you see on the kit are the closed fists and you've got the two weapon holding hands. Okay, now this is where the fun begins with the accessories. So moving on to this bazooka look like. Uh, the L paint could have been better, but hey, it is what it is. So the handle can swing forward and backwards. Now he doesn't hold it like this. 
he holds it underneath. And to attach this, you see this hole right there, it plugs in to the backpack ideally on the right side and just to go over the articulation on the back pad you get a ball joint right here there's like a rotation right here and rotation right here and you might be asking well what goes on the left side well i'm glad you asked because we have a couple of them next one will be this gun blade thing um i don't know the official name but if you want to make it to a sword all you gotta do is just pull this handle out and you have the choice of either the long one or the short one just attach it to the bottom and there you go even though it shows up on the left side but since you got like two holes you can plug it on the left or the right side hey guys any plastic disaster here forgot to tell you that this can extend next accessory would be this thing now you might be wondering well what makes this thing special well first the handle can move side to side and not only that, but you get some special attachments that goes with it as well. This thing right here plugs into the back, but it can't hold it by itself. That's why you have the handle that can swing down. And on the front, you have the choice of either the four barrel minigun or the single barrel. And on the top right here, you could do either the ammo drum or the little sensor. So you can customize it to your heart's content. Or if you want to, you can have a dual wield. The next accessory, you have four beam saver effect parts, but you only need one short yellow one. Plugs into the right arm. Here's what it looks like with the longer beam saver effect parts. And I know some of you want to do that. Next up would be the gimmicks on the kit itself. Now, as for the front skirt, if you pull this piece out, move it down, it will reveal the little like micro missiles. And for the chest, same thing, just pop this off pull this yellow piece uh, i think it's better if i do it off camera oh never mind turn it around and boom got more little missile shooting out of his chest i think the proper way of showing this gimmick is with the chest piece back on but here's how it looks along with articulation the head is on a double ball joint these big thrusters on the shoulders can move forward and backwards and it can move up and down and as for the shoulder it is on a ball joint the arm can move this high it does have a bicep swivel excuse me double bend on the elbow and ball joint on the wrist onto the torso there is a ball joint right there like a little ab but uh due to design it is a little limited and you also get a waist swivel the front skirt does pop out the side skirt can move out this much and the back skirt, it's in a fixed position. Continuing on the waist, you do get some rocking, some side to side movement. The leg can go up this far, it can move back that far. As for the splits, eh, you can almost do a full split. Get a thigh rotation, double bend at the knee. Down, down to the ankle, it can swing forward and backwards. And there's also a ball joint right over here. So it does everything what a ball joint does. And as for the pivot, I'd say it's actually pretty good. Moving on to the backpack, I already talked about the little arms and the thrusters can move up and down. Well, the articulation of this kit is actually pretty good, though it could have been better in some areas. Moving on to size comparisons, here it is right next to the standard size Gundam and as you can see, they are both the same height. And right next to it here is Lego Deadshot, another character who just loves to use guns. So that's going to be it for the size comparisons, let's move on to my final thoughts. Moving on to my final thoughts. Overall, it's a pretty solid kit. I mean, this thing has everything you ask for. Really nice design, weapon customization, and nice articulation. And speaking of weapon customization, I forgot to tell you like earlier that you can remove like the blade so it can look like a big handgun, and you can attach the big gun onto the backpack as well. The out-of-box presentation, really great. And if you want to take it a step further by putting in a little bit of effort in it, it'll look even better. I mean, heck, I think I saw some people give this kit like Optimus Prime color schemes and that looks pretty badass. So in the end, I highly recommend this kit. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna wrap up the review. If you wanna see more content like this, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Any questions, concerns, comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. I know some of you might say, oh, get the Master Grade kit, get the Master Grade. Well, don't worry guys, I got you covered.